Good evening. I'd like to call the Winton Woods Board of Education organizational meeting to order. It is 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday, the 5th of January, 2016. If you would please do me a favor and silence all your electronic devices and please rise in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. You may be seated. <coughs> Mr. Seymour, we'll move right into 1.02, which is the oath of office for our newly elected board members. Shall we do them in alphabetic order? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh. Just repeat after me. You may raise your hand. <laughs> I solemnly swear. I solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And that I will perform faithfully. And that I will perform faithfully. The duties of member of the Board of Education. The duties of member of the Board of Education. Of the Wentonwood City School District. Of the Wentonwood City School District. Hamilton County, Ohio. Hamilton County, Ohio. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. In accordance with the laws. And in accordance with the laws. Now in effect. Now in effect. And hereafter to be enacted. And hereafter to be enacted. During my continuance. During my continuance. In said office. In said office. Until my successor. Until my successor. Is elected and qualified. Is elected and qualified. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Constitution of the State of Ohio. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And that I will perform faithfully. And that I will perform faithfully. The duties of member of the Board of Education. The duties of member of Board of Education. Of the Winton Woods City School District. Of the Winton Woods City School District. Hamilton County, Ohio. Hamilton County, Ohio. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. And in accordance with the law. And in accordance with the law. Now in effect. Now in effect. And hereafter to be enacted. And hereafter to be enacted during my continuance, during my continuance in said office, in said office, and until my successor, and until my successor is elected and qualified, is elected and qualified. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Seymour, and congratulations to Mrs. Kuhn and Mrs. Ruglis. Mr. Seymour, would you please call the roll? Mr. Verdi? Here. Dr. Johnson? Here. Mrs. Kuhn? Here. Mrs. Miranda? Present. Mrs. Moruglis? <laughs> Here. Ruglis. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. I Seymour. I tried to put Miranda and Ruglis together. <laughs> I knew I'd screw something up. <laughs> That's all right. All right. We'll move into item 2.0, which is the president of the Board of Education election. I will open the floor for nominations at this time. Madam President Pro Temp, I'd like to nominate Jessica Miranda for the position of President of the Wentonwood City School Board. Are there any further nominations? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call or poll the roll for the election? For Mrs. Miranda? <coughs> Mrs. Miranda? Yes, sorry. Mr. Verdi? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Mrs. Miranda? Okay, Mrs. Mrs. Miranda. That's all right. <laughs> Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Mrs. Mrs. Miranda, yes. And Mrs. Ruggles? Aye, Mrs. Miranda. Thank you. I now hear say that Mrs. Miranda is president of the Board of Education. Thank you, Mr. Seymour. We'll move on to item three, which is the vice president election. Well, we'll have to give you an oath. Oh, indeed. <laughs> Sorry. I, 
I, Jessica Miranda, solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and that I will perform faithfully, and that I will perform faithfully to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, the duties of president, the duties of president of the Board of Education, of the Board of Education of the Wentwood City School District, of the Wentwood City School District, Hamilton County, Ohio, Hamilton County, Ohio. So help me God. So help me God. You have to sign another one. <laughs> <laughs> Top line, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Okay. Would you do me the honor and pass that Thank, Thank you. you. Now we'll move into item three. The floor is open for nominations for the office of vice president. Yeah, I'd like to nominate Dr. Johnson for the office of vice president. Are there any other nominations? I'd like to nominate Katrina. Thank you, but I believe it has to be board members. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please poll the vote? And just as a reminder, board members will vote by name. No I or nay necessary, since it's not technically a motion. Mr. Birdie? Dr. Johnson? Dr. Johnson? Dr. Johnson? Mrs. Kuhn? Dr. Johnson. Mrs. Rugless. Dr. Johnson. Mrs. Miranda. Dr. Johnson. Dr. Johnson is elected Vice President of the Wentonwood City School Board. You may now rise for your oath of office. I can come around if you want. Okay, well that might be a little more comfortable. <laughs> <clears throat> I, Dr. Viola Johnson, solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and that I will perform faithfully, and that I will perform faithfully to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, the duties of Vice President of the Board of Education, the duties of Vice President of the Board of Education, of the Wentonwood City School District, of the Wentonwood City School District, Hamilton County, Ohio, Hamilton County, Ohio. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Seymour. <clears throat> and congratulations, Dr. Johnson. Congratulations. We will now move into item 4.01, which is the schedule of our school board meetings. And board, a motion would be in order. Madam President, I'd like to make a motion that we approve um, the regular, the motion, make a motion to set the regular special meetings and all meetings will take place at the Board of Education office for the 2016 year. Thank you. It's been motioned. Do I hear a second? <clears throat> I'll second. It's been motioned and seconded. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call the vote? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kuhn? Aye. Mrs. Rugless? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. We'll now move into 5.01, 2017 fiscal year tax budget. Uh, here you're uh, adopting the tax, bu tax budget for fiscal year 2017. And as you recall, we are using our five-year forecast to develop the tax budget. Basically, the tax budget is certified by the Board of Education, forwarded down to the Hamilton County Auditor's Office for certification so that they can review to see that the taxes and the levies you have levied are needed in your projections and that the funds are, will be utilized and spent in the future years. And then that will be followed. They will certify back our tax rates and our real estate evaluation and you will be uh, adopting what's called the amounts and rates in sometime in April probably. Thank you, Mr. Seymour. Once again, board, a motion would be in order. I'll make a motion to approve the resolution of the adoption of the fiscal year 2017 tax budget as presented. It's been motioned. Do I hear a second? I'll second. It's been motioned and seconded. Is there any further discussion or questions for Mr. Seymour? I do have a question. Um, for K through 12, um, I guess the budget that for school districts, is it standard procedures to um, adopt a budget or to approve an unbalanced budget with expenditures that go? I mean, is that standard 
procedures if the expenditures exceed um, the anticipated revenue. Right, as long as your cash carryover will qualify you to do that in a given year. Your, what we, um, our beginning cash balance is such that if your projection exceeds your, uh, your projected expenditures exceed your revenues, your cash carryover will see that you had the funds to substantiate your expenditure plan. But, but hopefully between now and when we adopt the 2017 budget, things will change. Um, actually, when we adopted the five-year forecast, we didn't have solid concrete evidence of our mm -hmm. state funding at the time, okay. which we do have now. Um, and uh, as you know, personal tangibles had some changes to it. So we will be updating that 2017 forecast in uh, probably August and usually the board looks at that heavily in August at the work session and then they formally adopt it at your regular meeting mm -hmm. but it I'll guarantee it won't look like it does right now because it just changes constantly any further questions yeah Randy um, just clarify for just for the sake of discussion here uh, that this budget that we're approving we actually looked at that back in November and we approved it for the forecast for the five year forecast to utilize. And to utilize those numbers for the tax base. And it's kind of a fluid number because you just kind of are estimating. That's why it's called a forecast. So I just wanted to kind of clarify that so that everybody would understand that. Is that correct? Yes, you're right. OK, OK. And then we will look at it again in August to make sure that you know, right. and, and the numbers would, will change again. And also, if we would have like a material change or a catastrophic change or a, a significant change to our expenditure or revenue uh, between now and May, I would come to you and ask for a revision to yeah. submit to the Ohio Department of Education. But that's usually a major uh, impact of 5% or more of your, you know, it's a material change. Right. Mm -hmm. And the only time I ever saw uh, that happened was when the state, as you recall, ran out of money in 20, I believe it was like 20, 2007 and 2008, and we lost two foundation, most school districts lost foundation payments, right. and um, so we would have to bring to you to revise forecast for any uh, catastrophic type issue that would occur. Right. Okay. And it is based on a projection of tax dollars and like that. that right. You're and as you know, we constantly strive to solidify our tax base here right. and it's a constant That's struggle we had a with Wenton Woods holding their tax base where it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Their okay. total real estate value. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that. Any further questions, comments for Mr. Seymour? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call the vote? Sure. Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kuhn? Aye. Mrs. Ruggles? Abstain. Mrs. Miranda. Aye. Motion passes. We'll move on to 6.01. Back to you, Randy. Here you're giving me uh, permission to invest any uh, cash balances, inactive uh, funds that are interim funds, and as you know, I bring that report to you each month and as to the interest we earned. Um, but you're giving me permission to go ahead and invest those funds and not wait until we would need each month. And as you know, right now our whole, our entire portfolio is with one um, investment firm uh, and we have discovered that that was a good choice to make at this time in light of the current interest rates. Thank you, Mr. Seymour. Board of motion would be in order. Madam President, I'd like to make a motion to uh, request to authorize the treasurer to invest the inactive and interim funds in uh, permissible investments pursuant to board policy and Ohio revised code when funds are available. Second. It's been motioned and seconded. Is there any discussion or questions? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call the vote? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kuhn? Aye. Mrs. Rudless? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. We'll now move on to 7.01. Here we're asking uh, permission for the, super, for the uh, president and the treasurer to be the signers on payment of all funds and all obligations. We're asking that one 
only one have to sign and that my signature may be a facsimile signature. As you know, we're totally electronic now, so I don't really sign any checks, but I need your permission to use my electronic signature. Board, a motion would be in order. I'd like to make a motion to um, authorize the treasurer and the president to have their official signature for payment of funds. Do I hear a second? I'll second. It's been motioned and seconded. Are there any further questions for Mr. Seymour? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, please call the vote. Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Coon? Aye. Mrs. Rugless? Aye. Mrs. Moran? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. We'll now move on to 8.01, Mr. Seymour. I'm asking you to approve the resolution requesting advance payment of taxes. We, <coughs> mu we must uh, get, I have, need your permission to send letters down to the Hamilton County Auditor. All taxes as they're paid in, I can re request that those be paid out to the district as they come in. And I typically do that uh, weekly so that we can get the funds and get them in our investment portfolio versus leaving them at the county auditor. Mm -hmm. Board of motion would be in order. Madam President, I'd like to make a motion to approve the resolution requesting that the county auditor to make the advance payment as taxes as presented. In motion, do I hear a second? Second. It's been motioned and seconded. Is there any further discussion or questions? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call the vote? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Coon? Aye. Mrs. Ruglis? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. President. Yes, sir. On the previous uh, item number eight, uh -huh. do, we, do we need to make sure that the motion contains the language of the facsimile? Mr. Seymour, for 8.01, do we need to make sure the motion contains the specific language to the facsimile? Absolutely. Yes, I thought we did. I thought Mrs. King did say that. She did not. I can read. No. I can adjust. It's okay. I'll record it. Very good. Okay. Just so that's recorded in the minutes correctly. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Birdie. And thank you, Mr. Seymour. Thank you. We will now move into 9.01, Mr. Seymour. Here, the treasurer requests the authority to make fund-to-fund -fund transfers, advances, and then advance the funds back. Uh, what may occur here is that we have an obligation, perhaps, from a federal project, and the uh, district needs to commit funds, but the funds have not come from the federal government. We would transfer from the general fund to cover that obligation, <coughs> and then when the funds came in, we transfer back to the general fund. It's giving me permission to go ahead and do that. However, all transfer of funds would have to be brought to the board for their approval. I have not had to do this yet, but you never know when you might have a large commitment out of a federal project and you not be able to get the funds in timely fashion and you'd have to advance the money to that federal grant and then return it back. Okay. <coughs> So you would be approving, uh, giving authority to the treasurer to transfer and advance funds. I'd like to make a motion to authorize the treasurer to make the fund to fund advances, advance returns, and transfers as needed throughout the year with the board ratification as part of the financial reports at the next regular meeting. Second. It's been motioned and seconded. Is there any further discussion or questions? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call the vote? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Coon? Aye. Mrs. Rugless? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. We'll now move into 10.01. Um, board members are permitted to participate in the district's uh, health care plan if they would so desire. Um, that would be totally at the total cost to the board member, but we publicly have to announce that. Uh, the offer is made available and if anyone wished to participate, you would exercise that right at a public meeting. And uh, just for uh, informational purpose, the cost of health insurance would be six hundred and sixty ninety one for a single, one thousand six hundred and sixty five forty nine for a family per month, and the dental insurance is twenty eight seventy six for a single and seventy eight ninety five for a family. 
you're allowed to participate in the program, but it's at your cost. So. Do we need There's a motion no need on for this? There's no motion okay. unless a board member would like to exercise that, and they would simply state they would like to participate. They can do it now or, or at a future meeting within 30 days from the organizational meeting. Okay. So for sake of getting it out there tonight, are there any board members who want to express their interest this evening? All right, seeing none, we'll move on to 11.01. Um, re I am requesting uh, the board uh, appoint our superintendent, Mr. Anthony Smith, to be the sign-off officer on all student activity programs. And these programs would be presented to the board once each year. Uh, the superintendent would also have the authority to approve or modify the student activity budgets throughout the year as warranted. As you know, we do uh, student activity groups each have their own individual budgets. Those change constantly, and we will be giving the superintendent the authority to adjust those budgets as needed. But as you know, you adopted a budget for student activities and an appropriations in a group. I'm talking about all their individualized budgets. Thank you, Mr. Seymour. Board of motion would be in order. Okay, Madam President, I'd like to uh, request the appointment of the superintendent to be the sign-off officer of all student activity programs, and these programs shall be presented at the board once each year, and that the superintendent will also have the authority to approve and or modify the student activity budgets throughout the year as warranted. I'll second. It's been motioned and seconded. Are there any further questions? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call the vote? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kuhn? Aye. Mrs. Ruggles? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. 12.01, Mr. Seymour? And here, if you look at the attachment, we're presenting all the student activity uh, clubs that are currently in existence for the coming year. I don't know if you would have any questions about them, but all the uh, groups are listed. And each one of those groups would have presented their budget. Board, a motion would be in order. I'll make a motion to request authorization for the student activity accounts for fiscal years. Um, is that 2015 and 16 and calendar year 15? As presented. Second. It's been motioned and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kuhn? Aye. Mrs. Ruggles? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. We'll now move on to 13.01. Um, this is called the Now and Then Certificate, and some school districts take it to their board for permission, but Ohio Revised Code uh, grants this permission, but I think it's important that the board knows that it takes place. As you know, no commitment of funds can be uh, paid out by the treasurer unless a purchase order or what we call requisition and purchase order has been in place. But as you know, from time to time, new people or perhaps a mileage or perhaps professional leave or they just forget that part of the process. What you're doing here is giving me permission to go ahead and pay that uh, obligation as long as the money was available at the time they made the obligation and the money is still available and the purchase order did not actually get put in place. And that permission is only up to $3,000 according to Ohio Revised Code. Anything over that, which we haven't experienced here, would have to come before the board uh, to get permission to make that payment on that obligation. Thank you, Mr. Seymour. Do I hear a motion? <clears throat> Madam President, I'd like to make a motion to uh, give the treasurer authorization of the now and then certificate. I'll second. It's been motioned and seconded. Any questions or discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call the vote? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kuhn? Aye. Mrs. Ruggles? Abstain. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes. Mr. Seymour, back to you for 14.01. Um, from time to time, as you know, uh, the departments modify their budgets. They might have a need in one line item and they don't need have the need in another line item. Uh, a typical situation 
could be that we had money budgeted in supplies for textbooks, they decided to do something online, which is like a purchase service, and they come to me and request to move those funds. What you're doing is giving me permission to go ahead, move those funds, and bring it back to you at the, uh, at the end of the year and show you uh, the modified appropriations at the end of the year. But also during that time, I would never exceed our amended certificate, which is approved by the county auditor and exceed our available funds, uh, nor would I ever alter the total appropriations in the whole general fund. That's most likely where it usually takes place is within the general fund. Thank you, Mr. Seymour. Board a motion would be in order. <clears throat> I'll make a motion uh, requesting authorization for the treasurer to modify the original line item appropriation to set by the board. The treasurer shall not alter the total amended appropriations as adopted by the board. All modifications must be within the last board adopted appropriations measure. The treasurer shall stay within the funds available as certified by the Budget Commission of Hamilton County or as amended and approved on or before June 30th by the Budget Commission. Second. It's been motioned and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Coon? Aye. Mrs. Ruggles? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. 15.01, Mr. Seymour? Here we're uh, in the state of Ohio, we have separation of duties. You always have an administrator who purchases the items and an administrator who pays for the items. And here we're asking that Mr. Steve Denny, uh, our Executive Director of Business Affairs, serve as Superintendent's designee as a purchasing agent for the district. I make a motion to authorize Mr. Steve Denny, the Executive Director of Accountability and Business Affairs, to serve as the uh, Superintendent's designated purchasing agent for the district. I'll second. It's been motioned and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you call the vote? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Coon? Aye. Mrs. Ruggles? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. We will now move into our council committee and legislative liaison appointments. Um, board, just so you're aware, there has been a typo in the following appointment list that I wanted to make note of. The committees below that are in line with the Board of Education's goals, <clears throat> excuse me, being that of financial advisory, community engagement, and student achievement committees are in fact superintendents committees, not board committees. So being as such, these appointments are simply for the board liaison, not necessarily the appointed person to that committee. Um, <clears throat> as it is our job as board members to not only make sure these committees are functioning, um, but to make sure that these committees are functioning properly and to the benefit of our district and its communities and its students. So. In essence, I will be appointing a board liaison to each of the three superintendents committees this evening, and we'll start with the superintendent, or I'm sorry, the student achievement committee. <clears throat> Mr. Superintendent, do you have the mission for the student achievement committee? Yes, Madam President. Would you please read that at this time? The mission of the Winton Woods City School District Achievement Committee is to foster and support a culture of deeper learning to ensure that all students achieve their highest potential. This mission will be accomplished through consideration and understanding of best practices on raising academic achievement for all students, educational innovations to prepare students for the 21st century uh, learning for college and career ready. Please note the Student Achievement Committee is an advisory only committee. The monthly agenda is formulated by the superintendent and the executive director of teaching and learning. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. I now appoint Dr. Viola Johnson as the board liaison to the Superintendent's Committee for Student Achievement. Mr. Superintendent, would you please read the mission statement of the Community Engagement Committee? Yes, Madam President. The mission of the Winton Woods City Schools Community Engagement Committee is to foster and support a culture of deeper learning through developing partnerships, programs, and opportunities which promote 21st century learning, engage parents, serve the community, encourage wellness, and ensure all students achieve their highest potential. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. I now appoint Mrs. Paula Kuhn to the Superintendent Committee for Community Engagement. 
And last but not least, Mr. Superintendent, would you please read the mission statement for the Financial Advisory Committee? The purpose, first of all, is for committee members to be financially informed on the district's financial picture, including district facilities. And the goal is to advise or make recommendations to the Board of Education concerning needed increased revenues to provide for the day-to-day -day operations, operating levies, and or improved facilities, which uh, would be considered bond issues. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. I now appoint Mr. Jeff Birdie to the Superintendent's Committee for Financial Advisory. And now moving on to all the other appointments. <coughs> for the OSBA and NSBA Legislative Liaison, I will appoint myself, Jessica Miranda. <coughs> The Great Oaks Board of Education is currently Mr. Tim Cleary. His term will end on December 31st of this year, 2016. For the Superintendent's Review and Evaluation Liaisons, we choose two. I appoint myself and Dr. Johnson. For the Treasurer's Review and Evaluation Liaisons, we also appoint two, and I appoint myself and Dr. Viola Johnson. For our municipality representatives, for Forest Park, I appoint myself, Jessica Miranda. For Green Hills, I appoint Mr. Jeff Birdie. And for Springfield Township slash Wyoming, let's not forget that little piece of our district, I appoint Mrs. Katrina Ruggles. And for the public records designee, Mr. Randy Seymour, you are appointed to that. Do you also need a board member appointed to that with you, or can it stand alone? It can stand alone because okay. uh, we have, you may not want to attend the training. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. For the scholarship liaison, I appoint Katrina Ruggles. And we did the superintendent's committees. For the, <clears throat> yes. For the board member handbook, I appoint Dr. Viola Johnson. The OSBA Urban School District Advisory Network liaison, I appoint myself, Jessica Miranda. And last but not least, the OSBA SALT liaison, I appoint Dr. Viola Johnson. I got them all, right, Mr. Seymour? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And we'll now move on to 17.01, which is the recognition of our support organizations. Board, this does not need a motion, but each of these support groups have provided the board with their 2015-16 budgets for our review. <clears throat> Does anyone have any questions or concerns about these before we move on? Okay, seeing none, we'll move on to 18.01, our continuation of memberships in OSBA. <clears throat> Here we're just getting board's permission to continue your memberships for the Ohio School Boards Association, your subscription to the briefcase and school management news and participation in the Ohio School Board Association Legal Assistance Fund. These are all from January through December. Thank you, Mr. Seymour. Board, a motion would be in order. Madam President, I'd like to request the, I make a motion to request the approval to continue membership and uh, subscriptions for the three items as stated. It's been motion. Do I hear a second? I'll second been motioned and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call the vote? Sure. Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kuhn? Aye. Mrs. Ruggles? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. We'll now move on to 18.02. Here I'm asking permission for you to continue your membership in the National School Boards Association. Thank you, Mr. Seymour. I make a motion that uh, we continue our affiliation or membership with the National School Boards Association. It's been motioned. Is there a second? I'll second. It's been motioned and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour. Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kuhn? Aye. Mrs. Ruggles? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously and we'll move on to 18.03. Here we're asking for whether or not you would like to continue your membership in the Equity, Equity and Adequacy Coalition for this year. And some of you may have questions about the purpose of the coalition, so I tried to put a brochure in your place. But their, their main goal is to work 
with all school districts, public school districts only, in the state of Ohio to work towards funding resolutions. As you know, every two years we go through a major funding uh, situation with the state of Ohio, and this group works to protect the interests of the uh, school public school districts, and they work with our uh, Ohio school boards, they work with the Ohio School Business Officials Associations. They're also responsible in historically for the DeRolf funding case, as you may remember years back, and most recently they're pretty much responsible for having your Ohio school facilities uh, construction program. So um, I just thought you may wonder what that coalition might be. Thank you, Mr. Seymour. I also appreciate very much the brochure that you provided us. <clears throat> Board, a motion would be in order for this item. Yes, Madam President, I'd like to make a motion to request approval for continuation of the membership in Equity and Adequacy Coalition, January through December 2016. Is there a second? I'll second. It's been motioned and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour? Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kuhn? Aye. Mrs. Ruggles? Aye. Mrs. Miranda? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. We'll now move into 19.01. And board, this is our <clears throat> operating protocol that we like to approve every year so that we kind of have our own inter internal um, way of working together and our protocol of procedure and things of that nature. So a motion would be in order for this item. I'll make a motion that we uh, adopt the Board of Education's operating protocol. I'll second. It's been motioned and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Seymour, would you please call the vote? Sure. Mr. Birdie? Aye. Dr. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. Kuhn? Aye. Mrs. Ruggles? Nay. Mrs. Moran? Aye. Motion passes. Um, under 19.02, there are no other board items, correct, Mr. Seymour? Correct. Okay. <clears throat> so it's we think. a placeholder, though, in yeah. case someone would have one. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Um, thank you all for being here with us tonight. Congratulations again to our two newly sworn in board members. And we will now adjourn. Happy New Year to all. Adjourn at 7.07 p.m., Randy.